All right, welcome back to the coach's office. Yep. Week ten, uh, big week. We just had segment uh, one. <laughs> segment one. We had the league tournament. Uh, you want to talk about our guest later, or we want to save that? Uh, he's already getting a pretty big head. I don't think we need to talk about him anymore. Yeah. I, I think uh, we've been talking about him enough. I agree. I mean, Joe Simon writes an article about him every week. Not quite like you. But <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, today I kind of went different attire. Yeah. I went Keeneland, my Keeneland shirt. No uh, one knows what Keeneland is. It's a racetrack. Okay. A horse track. Okay. Um, all but right. uh, Coach Williams kind of commented, said I was a homer because I was wearing Canfield stuff all the time, so I switched it up and really? wore Keeneland. From uh, Coach Williams from Liberty? No, Coach Williams from Beaver from Local. Beaver Local, okay. I actually went the opposite direction. I see that. I wanted to go a little bit more comfortable because I know we're going to pound out six or eight segments. But at later, later I got this one, though. I'm going pit wrestling. Oh, I like that. Because that's a homer, but that's a good homer yeah. right there. Uh, you know, I don't know <clears throat> where we want to start with the league tournament. I kind of broke it down a little bit differently about teams that impress you, teams that maybe have you concerned a little bit, and then teams that met your expectations. But I, I don't know. I got it. Okay, you're good. You're in shambles again every week. You know, if you did some work before this thing hit Look at the this. court. I got all kind of stuff written down. Okay. <clears throat> all right, I'll ask you the question that you ask me, or do you want me to just answer my own question? Uh, I'll ask you first. Go. What team impressed you the most, and why? I have three, but I'm going to talk about each one of them a little bit. Pie Valley <clears throat> didn't impress me because I already knew they were good. I expected them to do good. So uh, they're, they're an impressive team. We've been talking about them for weeks. They're not new. Teams that did impress me, number one was Crestview. Yeah. Crestview had great. a really nice finish and, uh, and, and, and flew under the radar there a little bit. Ended up uh, ninth out of 27 teams. I think that that's impressive. And I also thought Boardman, although not, having, not fielding a full team, they had, had about seven kids. They had a really nice tournament. Uh, and I've said this, you know, I said this after last week. Uh, their middle school program has kind of been revamped. Jimmy Jones and Frank Mancini are doing a great job down there. And now Dom's going to get start getting those kids. So I think uh, Borman's back on track. I think they're getting ready for the postseason. I know Dom wants to start that streak again. And uh, so I think that would be the teams that impressed me. High Valley I'll talk about a little bit later as a team that I thought really did a nice job. But I, I kind of was counting on them to do a nice job. All right. That's what good. about you? Who, who impressed you? Uh, I got two. I'm going right. to go three. Um, I went Beaver Local. Okay. And they finished third, which – I guess that wasn't, you know, I, I thought they'd be in the top three, but that was without four starters. They're yeah. 38, uh, they're 95 to 20, and heavy are allowed. Yeah. They finished third. Um, and, and that's, I guess, what kind of impressed me. I mean, I thought they'd, I thought they'd be in the mix with the starting lineup, yeah. but they're in the mix without four guys, so that was pretty impressive. Yeah. The other one kind of went off the radar here. I went Waterloo. Yeah. New to the league. Yeah. Never really heard of them or knew anything about them. Thought the kids competed. Russell, are they finished twelfth? Small school. Yeah. Um, but I was impressed by that. <clears throat> I thought that they, they, there's an obvious toughness with those kids yeah. from Waterloo. I thought that was good. I actually transitioned and we go into the second part of teams that kind of have me concerned. I didn't know what you meant by that. This is what like I mean. I'm concerned about them, or I'm concerned they're going to beat Canfield. No, I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about. You know, Beaver Local was one of the teams I was concerned about, and I'm I'm really mainly concerned about three ter- three schools because of health reasons. Okay. You know what I mean? Like I hope Beaver Local. I had heard it was the flu guys. You know, under the weather. We you know we've we've talked extensively about the the, the staff down there and how much we like them and how competitive they are. <clears throat> you would have liked for them to be at full strength. Certainly, they would have liked it too. But <clears throat> I hope they get back on track. They've got some time to get ready for the postseason. And then the other two have me nervous a little bit is Alliance and Louisville. And here's what I mean by concerned. Deuce hasn't wrestled for a long time. Yeah. I hope he's wrestling. back for the for the postseason. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's a different team without Deuce. And they and they had, I thought, if you think about where they finished, they ended up fourth without really two starters when you're dealing with points there, based on what happened the way things shook out. So you got, you know, without Marcus and without without Deuce. So getting everybody back and healthy is important. And then Lawson Heiser kid, uh, I thought six was was going to be a loaded weight, and then you had a couple guys not there. I hope he's okay. I right. hope it's the flu. I hope it's something simple that you can turn around in 48 hours because you hate to see your top-end kids, you know, something happen to them at the end of the season here. And now with the league tur- tournament being the way it is, it, it's it's no picnic, man. It's it's brutal for two days. So that, that's what I meant by kind of teams that had me concerned a little bit, that I hope that they get healthy and no, none of those injuries are going to be uh, kind of season-ending. That's what I meant. That's good. I had uh, Beaver, Louisville, and Portman, and uh, – 
you know, similar to what you had there. Yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I had no clue what you were talking about with that. So, but yeah. I ended up having the same team. So, it yeah, out. no, I think that works. A team that uh, met my expectations certainly was Pie Valley. Um, you know, they, they we've been talking about for a while, and I wish they they didn't live so far away from us because I'd love to have Gage Willis on this program. I'd love to have Coach Miller on this program and a couple other guys too. So um, they met my expectations because uh, we, you know they they're a great D uh, two t- or D D three team for sure. Any, anything else you want to say about uh, teams in general? You met know? my expectations. <clears throat> I want Canfield. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm a homer. I know that, but I felt I thought we were going to win. I thought we were the best team. I thought. Uh, um, you know, our guys showed up, wrestled well, um, got some big wins. We'll talk about Reinhardt a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, I think a team that met my expectations, I thought we'd win. I, I was a little nervous after the big uh, um, big to-do on Wednesday, at qualifying for the state yeah. duels, that there might be a little bit let down. That's a lot, you know, to throw at all those kids all at once. But uh, they, they stepped up and wrestled real well. So I Yeah, and I, I think, too, at some point, I know Mike's, Mike and Max are going to address it already. I think the seating has to be addressed on some level. Um, and I don't know how to do it. And I know that I have trust in the committee. I'm not on that committee, but I have a, a trust in the committee. We'll do the right thing. The Willis Stein match, and this is not to um, disrespect Meany. You know what I mean? Because I think a one nothing match. Meany or Matlock, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Starts. But but I think um, I think somehow you got to tweak that a little bit. I think you've got you just have a different feel in that tournament with the seating criteria being so rigid, and so it kind of you know kind of closes you into a, a tough situation. Uh, favorite match of the tournament. Okay, I'll tell you the favorite finals match of the tournament. I mean, for me, uh, obviously I coach for Canfield, so I would say Reinhardt over Miller. Incredible match. I had two. Reinhardt obviously is close to my heart, so uh, and not just the win, how he won was 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 pretty darn impressive. The laser bait match. Yeah, I would. I was excited. Was for that a good one. match. Yeah. I mean, I tell you what, and back and forth, tough kids. Um, like both them kids, like both the programs. So those were two of the matches for me that. That stood out in the finals that I really enjoyed. Anybody else there, individual or team, or things you want to talk about when you're talking about the league tournament? We'll talk about more uh, later in the later segment with our special guest. But uh, anybody? No, I mean, anybody I, think, else? Uh, I think we hit on hit on a lot of it. Obviously, there was a lot that happened. You had some guys out like Wade and Deuce that I was excited to see. Um, but uh, but overall, I thought it was a great tournament. And, uh, you know, the addition of Waterloo and Louisville, obviously, uh um, showed up. It's a, it's it's getting more and more competitive every year. So it is. And could you just read off the top five teams real quick? Sure. Canfield was first with two hundred and thirty one and a half. Uh, Austintown Fitch two hundred and eleven points. Beaver Local one hundred and seventy eight and a half. Alliance one hundred and seventy five. And Louisville one hundred and sixty. At the beginning of the week one, mm-hmm. you and I made a list. Yeah. We said, "What are the five best teams in the league?" Yeah. That was our list. That was it. That was our list. And Beaver Local Alliance and Louisville all had guys out. Yeah. Or it gets even tighter. And we had West Branch, six. I think they were not. We absolutely did. We absolutely did. So, um, nice job, Kenny. Well, I mean, I think, I, th- I think we've been around it long enough, but there's still things that we miss. You know what I mean? Uh, anything else on the league tournament? Uh, hopefully everybody got the uh, – the uploads of the champions. I try to we try to get that done that night. Uh, that was kind of neat. Appreciate coaches allowing their kids to do that. We want to kind of do something a little bit different next year if we're allowed to. Maybe get some true video. Yeah. Uh, and putting together a true hype video, which would be pretty cool, we think. But uh, you know, we got to run that up the chain of command there with uh, COC. Yep, for sure. Good. Anything else? Nope. That's all. All right. Thanks, thanks. guys.